Does God really love everyone? Or does He love only people belonging to a particular church? How about that politician who's been accused of corruption? How about that traffic officer who accepts bribes? How about that husband who abandoned his family? How about that difficult person in your life who always says bad things about you? Does God really love everyone? Let's talk about that here at Pathways of Hope. Today, let's reflect on Luke 4, verses 24 to 30. In today's gospel, Jesus tells the crowd two stories. He tells about how God reaches to a widow from Sarephath, a widow who is not from Israel, a total outsider. Indeed, I tell you, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the sky was closed for three and a half years, and a severe famine spread over the entire land. It was to none of this that Elijah was sent, but only to a widow in Sarephath in the land of Sidon. Jesus tells a second story about how God heals a leper by the name of Naaman. And Naaman was a Syrian, again an outsider, Again, there were many lepers in Israel during the time of Elisha, the prophet. Yet no one of them was cleansed, but only Naaman the Syrian. Jesus tells these two stories about two individuals who were outsiders. They were not from Israel. Jesus tells them how God connects, reaches out to a widow from Sarephath. Jesus tells them how God heals a leper by the name of Naaman, who was a Syrian. And this makes the audience react in a negative way because most of them were Jewish, if not all of them. And they had a limited understanding about God's love. They believed that God's love was only for them, for them alone. They had a narrow understanding about the Messiah, that the Messiah would come to save only them. But the two stories of Jesus Christ proves them wrong. The two stories shows that God's love is for everyone. And it's up to us to accept that love that God is offering all of us. If Jesus is able to love everyone, good or bad, the question for all of us is this. Are we able to extend the same love to everyone? Jesus calls us to be more loving to everyone. No filters, simply to everyone. If you were blessed by today's reflection, why don't you like it and share it to your friends? Tag their name in the comment section below. Help us to be a pathway of hope to others. God bless your week.